Having a consistent program uh, is important to us. It was tough during the pandemic when we'd have to change our learning platforms to uh, being in school full time to being at home. We didn't know what was going on in their lives really. Um, we didn't see them. We saw a black screen for most of the part of it. Um, so we had no idea whether or not they were being fed or not or there was food available to them. I mean our teachers got into this job to work in person with kids and build those connections with kids face to face. It was one of the hardest parts when you're uh, online you don't get to see those faces and see what they're doing and uh, just have that connection with them visually not just orally so it's a it's amazing to see them back in school I'm really happy to see them and for me I needed it as well so it helps me feel more energetic about my teaching what I do as well so it's interesting this being the first time we've come back together over two years as a group in the gym you always have to wonder about what a behavior is going to be like it's nice to hear when you have adults come in the building and they acknowledge how good the kids are. I always feel great about King's Road, but when you have visitors come in and tell you how good the kids are, um, I, can't, I can't say more than that. Well, Rotarians are always wanting to be out there serving in the community, and this is one of the favorite activities that our club has done in the past. We, I know I was heartbroken when COVID hit and we couldn't get back out again, and so it just means the world to us to be back in, in the school, being able to serve breakfast to these little ones there. Uh, so sweet and they, you would start your day off with all these little smiles and it was always made our day. I think camaraderie around the breakfast club that was missing. Um, the kids congregate in that area. All of those connections um, being made were really missed obviously in COVID. Um, so we see that happening. Yeah, I mean COVID has been hard on all of us, right? Let's face it. But um, today, for example, having that healthy breakfast, all that stuff that was cut up, fresh, it looks so beautiful, visually pleasing. And seeing the kids actually choose that along with their pancakes, because everyone loves pancakes, right? But to have those fresh fruit selections available, it's, it's very powerful. In every school that I've been in for the last 20 years, Halt and Food for Thought has been invaluable in providing that nutritious start for our students at the beginning of the day. Uh, the program itself I think means a lot. It was surprising to me this year, it's the first time I've worked on it, the, how many kids actually take from the program and use the program and I think how much it was missed last year during uh, the pandemic and everything. Uh, we've historically had 30 to 40 kids every morning come and access breakfast. Uh, when we were in person uh, and since then with our breakfast carts we literally have hundreds of kids who access snacks every single day to have a good start to the day. Not only does it provide that nutrition for them, it provides them a connection to a community volunteer and even today uh, a lot of the volunteers were remarking at the uh, growth that they've seen in some of the kids that they know. You know, the difference is, is remarkable. Um, they will have lower energy, not feel motivated, um, but after we have a, a snack, and this was particularly evident with our longer classes uh, when we were doing the hybrid learning model, um, we would go, we would have a snack, and uh, it was a marked difference between their motivation, their energy level, um, and their attitude uh, really changed as well. So I found that the food really fueled their, their mind as well as their body. The fancy term we use is dysregulated. And if you kind of track and correlate the timing of the day, you'll see as we get maybe fat past the first two periods, that's when it starts to show. As a phys ed teacher, I see it all the time. Students come in with very low energy levels. And if they have just a little bit beforehand, their effort and their energy is up for whatever I ask them to do during that period. And of course, having the healthy food just gives them that bit of a, a boost so that they can focus on their work and they can participate in their day without having to worry about hunger in the back of their mind. They've had something, they feel satisfied. They know that they're cared for here at a because they are, we care deeply for our students and uh, this is just one more way that we can show them. I see a huge impact in their energy um, and as well as their attentiveness in class. So if they haven't eaten a lot of the times, so they'll say, hey, can you go grab me a snack or something like that? Um, and then right after that, they are definitely more attentive to class. That's uh, fantastic. It's a total positive vibe that we have around the whole school. Um, the kids become more focused. Uh, they're more engaged in their learning. And then of course, um, just that connection with people, getting back together and, and face to face and not just on a screen, hard in our eyes, right? Yes, you need to eat lots of carrots right now, right? 
<laughs> and I'll tell you when when a student comes to my office and maybe they're having a rough day the first question I ask them is did you eat this morning and can I get you a snack and sometimes that's all they need to put a different perspective on something not because they didn't have food that day but because they were busy or there was stress going on and they just didn't feel like eating and when they stopped and took a moment and tried something or had something different they were like oh, okay now I feel good now I can conquer the world <laughs>